What is going on everyone? My name is Noble and in today's video we're going to be going over the brand new Xbox Game Pass app. Now this app is available on Android as well as iOS but if you guys caught my last video you'll know that on iOS you actually have to sign up for it. So for those of you on iOS if you guys want to get the Xbox Game Pass app that is currently in beta you do need to sign up for it and if you guys check out the description below there will be a link for you guys to follow put in your information and possibly get a code for the app. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and open up the app here and we're basically just going to go over it really, really quick. Just go over what is in the app and how it works and stuff like that. So on the very top of your home screen, you've got three options that they've got that they're trying to promote. We've got um, the Graveyard Keeper, we've got State of Decay 2, as well as Dirt 4. Now under that, they have a few categories. You've got the most popular games. They've got games that they pick for you by going into your library and suggesting games that you may like. And then they've got some more games they're promoting. We've got Doom, we've got Sea of Thieves, and we've got Tom Clancy's The Division. Under that, you've got some more categories. You've got Featured, as well as some recently added stuff. And then you can go ahead and search specifically for categories that you want. So we've got classics, action adventure, shooters, platformers, kids, sports and racing, indie games, and fighting games. Now, if you guys know me, uh, I love indie games, so I would definitely be checking those out, trying to get some achievements, trying to support some smaller developers. And this actually brings up a quick topic real quick. You guys see Human Fall Flat right here. Um, if you guys have not played that game, it's a really fun game. Um, it's an indie game, and you can definitely get some achievements in it. But as of August 28th, uh, they have finally added online multiplayer to it. So if you guys want to play this game with friends, and if you have some Game Pass, go ahead, install this game. It's a lot of fun. Me and Jade are actually going to be playing through it, trying to get all the multiplayer achievements as well. So if we go back to the home page here, you guys can also see at the very bottom of the page that we just went over on the home screen, you can also see every single game that's available to you in Game Pass in alphabetical order. So obviously you guys know how the alphabet works, we're not going to go through too much more there. Now if you want to search for games, if, if, if you're not exactly sure what games are in it but you're interested in trying the game, you can just go ahead and put in a general search. So if you wanted to see what kind of Halo games are in here for example, you would go ahead and type in Halo and then all the Halo games that are available on Game Pass will go ahead and show up. So that's a, a fairly simple way to go ahead and explain what's going on there. Now under your games, uh, this is games that are ready to install. You can also push games and we're going to show you how that actually works here in just a little bit. But your sign in options are actually on the top right and go ahead and click that icon and we'll go ahead and show you what happens there. Alright, so as you guys can see, I am actually signed into Jade's account right now because I don't have Game Pass anymore. She and I, we uh, try to do the game sharing so we don't have to have it on two consoles. So I'm signed into her account right now. It gives you your information such as your gamer tag, the email that you've got, which obviously I have blocked out, you guys don't need to know that, as well as when you're set to auto renew. You can also go ahead and try to redeem some codes from here. And if you go ahead and scroll down to your app settings, you do have a few things that you can go ahead and change up. You can set up some of your notifications to get catalog alerts, install progress, as well as subscription alerts. We go back real quick, you can change the theme of this, they have light and dark, it's your basic stuff that you'd be used to on probably any other app. I like keeping mine on to the dark side. And then you've got some language and your location, as well as some information about the app, and you can go ahead and sign out from here. Now this is in beta right now, so they are trying to test things out, there are still a few bugs. For example, sometimes whenever you're trying to open up the app, it can take two to three minutes at a time sometimes before it actually opens up all the way. That can be a pain in the butt. If you guys want to leave feedback, you can go ahead and do that here. You've got stuff that you like, stuff you don't like, suggestions, and translation problems. So that's pretty much the entire app. We are going to go ahead and show you that this actually does push games to your console no matter where you're at. So if you're at work or if you're at school, if you're somewhere else, if you're at a friend's house and you're playing a game that's on Game Pass and you haven't installed it onto your system yet, you can go ahead and push that to your console. So uh, all games that are on this app are going to be pushed to your home console. So just know that you can still install it on any other consoles, but you'll actually have to go into your games and apps section and then go ahead and install it. So I'm on the alphabetical list here and I'm just gonna go uh, pick a random game and we're gonna show you guys my Elgato so that you guys can see that it's being pushed 
whenever you go ahead and get it ready to install. So let me go ahead and just scroll through here real quick and find a game. Alright, so after searching for a few games, I see Fable on here. I love the Fable series. I really hope it makes a comeback. But if you go ahead and click on any one of the games here, you're going to get information on the game. So as I clicked on Fable there, you guys see here, Fable Anniversary, you've got a small description of the game, uh, the rating, where it's available, as well as some helpful posts. Uh, these are reviews, I guess. You can see who is trying to stream the game. Uh, I guess there's nobody's trying to stream it right now. And uh, some screenshots as well as things that are add-ons for the game. So at the very bottom here, you see install on your home Xbox. We're going to go ahead and click that, and I'm going to bring up my Elgato. So it says that it is getting ready to install the game, and we'll see that pop up here in a sec. And there you guys go. It says queued for installation. Your game should start downloading soon. Then it gives you some information on how to actually go ahead and set this up. But we're going to show you my Elgato right now to show you what's on my actual Xbox. We just push that to the uh, Xbox and you guys can see here in the queue that it is installing. So it does it all on its own no matter where you're at. Like I said, if you find a game you're interested in Game Pass at work or while you're in school, you can go ahead and push it to your home Xbox and it'll be ready for you to play once you get home. So that's pretty much the entire app. It's a very simple thing to use. I just wanted to go ahead and make a quick run through of it, show you guys what it looks like. Once again, if you're on iOS and if you wanna sign up for this app, there's a link in the description for you guys to go ahead and sign up. And if you're on Android, all you gotta do is go onto your Google Play Store, search for Game Pass app, and this will go ahead and pop up. Hopefully you guys found this video interesting. If you guys liked it, please let me know in the comments down below. And with all that said, I will see you guys on the next video.